When you think about dating, what kind of thoughts go through your head? What kind of things are you telling yourself about dating? Hello and welcome to How to Love Successfully with me, Dr. Maria Kovanen. I'm a registered psychologist and a conscious dating coach. This podcast is for high achieving women who are looking for that committed long-term relationships. We will talk about everything and anything that affects you and your relationships. Let me tell you about an exciting event that I will be running on the 27th of September. Secrets to Successful Dating. I will be sharing common mistakes that high achieving women may make when dating and how to overcome those how to date in a way that feels good and doesn't feel draining. Many, many people complain about dating being hard and draining, but it doesn't have to be. Leave this event. You will feel more excited about dating and meeting the right person for you because they are out there somewhere. But there may be things holding you back in dating right now and so this free event will help you to address those and know exactly what to do and how to date successfully so that you too can find that loving relationship you're looking for but let's go back to today's episode i'm really excited to be talking about this Uh, anything to do with mindset because the The reason why it is so important for us to become aware of our mindset is because there are certain things that may be holding us back and may be limiting our experiences and then we don't have the desired outcome. The reason why it is so important for us to look at our mindset and beliefs that we have, because those can often be real blocks to finding what we want and finding love with the right person. So we will be talking about three common stories that you might be telling yourself. And let's start with number one, a story that you might be telling yourself is that there are no good men either in your environment or on dating apps. And and I could imagine that this may leave you feeling quite depleted and perhaps you don't even put much effort into dating because if you believe that this is true, then that is the outcome already. So why bother? Why bother putting yourself out there? Because you know the result already. When we talk about our mindset, we have two camps. So we have this, what's called closed mindset. And closed mindset is really about believing that world is in a particular way. And this is just how everything happens all the time. Whilst you may be challenging maybe your beliefs at work, it could be that In your personal life, you are perhaps having these stories about there not being anyone in your environment. This other type of mindset is what we really need for dating is growth mindset. Growth mindset is about believing that I will go and investigate, I will explore, I can can, I can overcome if there's any kind of difficulties or problems. So having this sort of very open mind to dating. And in dating, for you to explore new avenues, you need to have this open mindset so that then you will put yourself into new situations that can help you to get closer to meeting the right person for you. Or it might sometimes be that there could be potentially even be someone in your environment already. I've had that with clients that they they have had someone in their environment, but they were not aware of it. They were exploring dating in different avenues. And at the same time, 
And at the same time, there was already that person was in the environment already and something shifted. And then they were able to see this person in their environment who have been almost on their doorstep all the time. Why we have these different mindsets could be because perhaps it's about fear of rejection, fear of disappointment. And absolutely, that often can be part of the dating process. But there are ways to protect yourself. It's really important to start to explore the stories that you're telling yourself about dating and how that is potentially limiting you. So I will invite you to maybe do some reflecting, do some journaling and thinking about when I think about dating, what's come up for me? What's maybe, what what do I believe about dating? What are the stories I'm telling myself? And then let's talk about the story number two. Many times people say, I need to be this before I can find love. It could be, I need to be slimmer. I need to lose weight before I uh, can meet someone. I need to be more beautiful. I need to be more feminine physically in some ways to meet the right person. I need to be something different. And of course, you don't need to be anything different than what you are today. In the world, we have so many people and there are so many single men out there who could potentially be a good match for you, just as you are. Deep down, all of these beliefs come from fear of rejection. And there's a part of you that perhaps remembers incident or incidents maybe when you were rejected could be many 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 years ago could have been when you were little even Uh, but you still carry that feeling within you and you have this belief and this belief stops you from even trying out I do appreciate that of course appearances often play a part in attraction And especially when we are talking about online dating, because it's so visual. And when men tend to be more visual than women, women are perhaps more forgiving in that way. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a man who sees your beauty as the complete person you are, not just the appearance, because you are for human And it is really important for you to focus on feeling good within yourself as you are. And this may require some inner work from you, first of all, to reach the point where you feel really good about yourself. And then you are more emotionally available to dating. And this is, of course, something that I will be talking about in my free masterclass coming on the 27th of September. So please don't forget to register for that. The details are in the show notes. So you can check that out. So when you get those thoughts, that is the part of you that wants to keep you safe. So the story number three that commonly is held by especially high achieving women who are so used to doing it all and you didn't get to where you are in terms of your professional career without doing and focusing on doing a lot. You are used to taking charge. You are used to being the one who takes a lot of responsibility. And maybe you approach dating in the same way. Perhaps you tell yourself that you need to be putting so much effort into dating. You need to be dating more, seeing more people. You need to be taking charge of the situation. And perhaps there's a fear deep down that unless you are in charge, things will fall apart. But in fact, in dating, what's important is for you to, in that case, learn to let go, 
learn to be present in the situation and making space for the other person. Of course, you need to put effort into putting yourself situations, even new situations, where you might potentially meet people and have conversations and connections, whether this is online, going to events or hobbies, interests, you know, anything. But just being really being out there in the world, whichever way it is that you choose to do it in. But doing it in a relaxed way. And this may be something that you need to learn. Perhaps you always so used to being in that doing mode that you need to learn to relax. And this is, of course, something that I help my clients to do in my dating coaching program is about learning to receive in dating and in love. And that doesn't mean that someone else will take over. That means about being able to be present and connecting with your true self and dating from that place. Because then when you are really being yourself, you will meet a person who is the right match. And especially if you are looking for a man who shows up in the relationship, you need to be able to make space for him to enter your world. Otherwise, your doing energy will will push him away. And you may end up attracting someone who likes a woman or does it all. But that is potentially in the long term is a very lonely place if you are always taking responsibility for everything. So I really invite you to do some reflecting, do some journaling around these topics and thinking about what it is what is it that I'm telling myself about dating if you enjoyed this come to the free masterclass and we will be talking so much more about the right mindset for dating and how to date successfully in a way that feels good for you you can now go and register for the masterclass and I would love to see you there live. So it is again on the 27th of September at 1pm BST or it will be 8am Eastern time. But there will be also a recording. So don't worry if you can't make it and you've got something going on at that point. But I would love to see you there. Remember to find the love you're seeking. You need to give yourself the love first and then you will attract the love you want. Bye for now.